Hello and welcome to the NHL Best Bets. Last night uh, there were six games. Uh, we picked, um, like we always do, two of those. Uh, and uh, here you can see the good results uh, from our picks. So first, uh, Montreal uh, visited Winnipeg. Uh, they fight, a uh, good fight, but um, that wasn't enough. Uh, at the end, Winnipeg won 4 to 3 in overtime, and uh, our plus 112 um, bet was correct. Then uh, St. Louis uh, finally got the chance to play against LA Kings, that was earlier stuck in Denver. Uh, Kings was ready for the game, and um, I think they scored two goals before St. Louis got a single shot towards their net. So. At the end, Kings um, 4, St. Louis Blues 1, and um, clear victory for the home team in this case as well. Tommy, any comments um, of those, these or any other games? Well, these games went exactly as we predicted, so happy with that. And uh, yeah, Winnipeg Jets at home against Montreal, like we said, if you get these sort of positive odds for a home team that is favored by the simulations, it's a no-brainer. And luckily they did finish uh, finish winning the game. They did lead uh, two times by two goals um, and squandered that lead. Montreal fought back, uh, scored the equalizer two minutes before the end of the, period of the game. So uh, could have gone other way as well, but luckily for us, Winnipeg did prevail in the end. And it was pretty much as we expected for the three, the final score. Um, and then in Los Angeles, like you said, uh, King scored uh, two goals in the first five minutes and uh, it looked good throughout the game for us. So Kings was a better team um, in this case and uh, they finished 4-1. So very strong game from the Kings. Uh, they, show, they have now shown that they can beat these better teams in that Western division. So it might not be as clear as we thought it was that San Luis Blues, Colorado Avalanche and Vegas Golden Knights will be the teams uh, taking the top, th top three spots. But I think Kings might be there to challenge for those as well. Yeah, I think uh, St. Louis um, is maybe the weakest link here in those uh, three teams. They haven't played as uh, expected and uh, uh, Minnesota is maybe now the better team than they in uh, in the West and then Kings. Uh, if they keep winning these better teams here and there and uh, ensure that um, Anaheim and San Jose as well as Arizona are behind them, um, they may have a chance to surprise everybody and, and push to the playoffs. Yeah, there is only three points difference at the moment um, with the uh, Blues and Kings and the Kings have one game in hand. So it is a very, uh, very tough battle actually with these two teams for the final playoff spot. As we see now that uh, Minnesota has taken the, taken the second spot in that division. So they have been playing really well, but let's see how it develops. There is a lot of hockey to be played. And also because of the uh, schedule, there is these four game uh, series against the same opponent. So things can change really quickly in this division as well. Um, there was a lot of hockey in um, New York Rangers Philadelphia Flyers game last night. Uh, Rangers put some kind of a show on and won a game 9-0. I think we had this over and, and finally it looks like uh, uh, Rangers are playing um, as they as they are expected by us. But uh, still, uh, was it uh, only? good uh, performance of the Rangers or was there something wrong in uh, Philadelphia? I think there was a bit of bit of both. The Rangers did find their uh, their offense, which we've been expecting for some time now. Uh, they played really good game offensively, especially, of course, uh, shutting out Philadelphia Flyers is also a good feat. So defensively, um, pretty well as well. But uh, it was a very disappointing uh, performance by the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, and they have they have a little bit of a, of an issue now in their overall playing. It's not only the goaltender. It's not only the lack of uh, lack of um, uh, goal scoring opportunities, lack of production. It's also uh, problems in the defense and the uh, the sort of cohesion of the team. It looks off somehow, and uh, something that we haven't seen earlier in the season. 
even if Liars have not been as good as we have been expecting, uh, they played pretty well against the top teams, but now this sort of uh, collapse is, of course, uh, a bit worrying for the Flyers. Yeah, um, and um, if we continue with the Flyers, um, immediately we have uh, selected them as uh, one, one of our picks uh, for tonight. So. Uh, Philadelphia travels um, to another stadium in New York, so from uh, Madison Square Garden to the New York Islanders home stadium um, um, that is in Long Island uh, this season before they move to the new stadium in um, horse racing Mecca in New York. Um, home team um, lost uh, finally after winning nine games um, in Washington, they give, uh, gave, uh, I think, four or five, four goals in that game. It was, uh, well, 3-1 was the final score, but Washington was um, clearly better team there. And uh, this time um, we expect bounce back um, by the Islanders. They have uh, one day time for recovery from that uh, uh, defeat. And um, Philadelphia is having back-to-back -back game. Uh, in New York, um, they their performance last night was quite miserable, like you mentioned. Uh, but um, we don't expect too much bounce back from their side because recently these two teams have uh, had quite a different level of uh, hockey. What they have played, Islanders has been red hot, Philadelphia not so. Uh, second game, Arizona goes to Anaheim, two defending team with. Uh, good goalies, um, many of good goalies, and um, it of course depends a bit uh, which goalies will get the call for tonight, but uh, uh, Arizona may have Antti Ranta there, he has played very well during the last uh, few games. Uh, Anaheim has two good goalies, um, Gibson and Miller, which one plays tonight, they will see, but um, our pick is under minus 118 odds uh, for five and a half um, goals. Uh, how do you see these uh, picks, Tommy? Yeah, very good picks. Again, uh, a bit difficult to select the other one, but the Islanders is a clear clear favorite here. Um, of course, Philadelphia, somewhat of a bounce back game from that miserable uh, defeat last night, but it doesn't get any easier when they go uh, to meet New York Islanders who lost last time. So they are due to uh, to a win again, and they've been playing really well. It's a good matchup against Philadelphia for for the Islanders, they are able to uh, to keep them in uh, in really low scoring opportunities. Uh, Islanders have excellent defense and good uh, good goaltending, so Flyers are um, in for trouble again. I think so. This is a good value in simulations. We have uh, Islanders winning about 56 percent uh, of the of the game, so it is a small value, but it's there and it's the home favorite. So. That's something that we've been doing pretty well. So Islanders is a good pick, and then the uh, the Western Western Division game, Anaheim, Arizona, like you mentioned, very good goaltenders in both ends, uh, be it Ryan Miller or John Gibson for Anaheim, and uh, Antti Ranta has played extremely well for um, Arizona while Darcy Kemper is out. So uh, a good defense, defending teams, good goaltenders. Not a very uh, starstruck offense, not a lot of high scoring players in either of these teams. So, expecting very low scoring game uh, in the simulations, only 4.1 goals scored, so two goals per team. Um, Anaheim, a slight favorite here, but let's see, I think it might be a 2 2 overtime game again. Um, any other games that you want to highlight here? We have um, these big favorites again um, that have some value. Boston um, goes to Buffalo. Uh, we predict them to win over 70% probability. Uh, then Columbus travels to Carolina. Carolina as a home team is uh, almost 70% uh, uh, winner here. And uh, then Nashville uh, plays against um, Florida in Sunrise and uh, home team is there again over 70% uh, probable winner. So do you think these are, are worth to bet or odds are too low this time? I do think the odds are a bit low. It's uh, of course when we have something over 70% it's a pretty clear 
clear difference, um, but there is a couple of percent uh, compared to the odds. So there is value, but uh, like we've been seeing this season, especially these games are usually not worth the bet because of the, the nature of the league is now that they are a sort of playoff uh, series always and a lot closer games than, uh, than usually would be. So I don't think the, these games particularly are uh, good value. So I would probably check the, uh, the going under in a couple of games or taking the over, depending a little bit on the goaltenders and, uh, and that sort of thing. Um, I think our simulation results for total bets have been pretty good, like we discussed uh, previously. Which games you think uh, would have some uh, value for total bets uh, tonight? Yeah, I think uh, I think at least uh, according to the simulations, the Buffalo game, Buffalo Boston, Buffalo changed the uh, head coach. I think they will go very defensively into this game. Boston has struggled scoring. They scored two goals against Penguins, uh, one goal in the previous one. So not very uh, very good uh, face for them offensively. The first line, of course, uh, Pasternak, uh, Bergeron, and Marchand, very uh, very good, promising. Uh, game against Penguins but could not score so um, this is something that needs to get going for Boston in order to win these games and they haven't been delivering so I think this might be a good under and according to simulation 60% of these games go under 5.5 so Buffalo Boston a good under and then a little bit surprisingly I must say is the Colorado Minnesota game as an over here we have 63% uh, of course, Colorado explosive uh, offense now scored eight goals last time, so probably has something to do with it. But Minnesota is pretty good defensively. Still, over 5.5 goals is 64% according to simulation. So maybe check the over there if you want to watch the game and uh, hope for some goals. And I think also it would be good to check who, who are the goalies there because uh, both of these goalies uh, we predict uh, to start, uh, Philip Grubauer and Kaapo Kähkönen, are top three goalies currently in statistics in whole league. So if uh, any other goalie will start, um, this over looks to be even better bet. How about uh, then the final game that uh, we we review here. We got a good win with Winnipeg um, last night. Now Winnipeg goes to the Edmonton to play against a team that also won um, beat pretty well Galgary in 73 in Saddle Dome, where home team has struggled, uh, uh, like we all know. Um, do you think uh, visitors can upset the home team here? Yeah, very interesting matchup there at Edmonton Winnipeg, two of the quite hot teams at the moment. Um, it's a 50-50 coin flip according to the simulation. So when you get again good value for Winnipeg Jets now as a um, road underdog, it might be worth a punt. So uh, it's uh, for Winnipeg 49.4% um, and the odds are about 46%. So maybe the road team this time, but it is definitely a coin flip. Um, so a little bit of a risky risky pick here, but if you get good odds like at the moment there is a plus 110, it might be worth to go with the, with the Jets who played pretty well last night, even squandering the lead a couple of times, but still managed to get the win. That sounds um, another interesting game for tonight and um, we follow that uh, very closely as well as um, these two picks that we made. So tomorrow another video, another review. Let's uh, keep our thumbs up.